Hey guys, it's Paul from Ashen Phoenix. This is our new weekly series focusing on the Shrine of Secrets. Basically what happens if you don't know, um, every week Behavior releases four teachable perks that you have the opportunity to buy whether you have them or not. For example, if you have Windows of Opportunity like we do, you can buy that again for a bonus 150,000 blood points. It comes in handy uh, to level up your characters a little bit quicker. Uh, if you don't have it, however, you can buy that and it will be added to your web. First up in the shrine of the four that you can pick from this week, we have self-care. I don't like this one. It's a it's an okay beginner perk, but I believe it teaches you bad habits. Without a med kit, you can run off into the corner, and I mean most people run way off into the corner, and you can heal yourself at 50% the speed. This is a long time. This is a very painstaking thing, and it drives teammates crazy, especially if you're on the hook and you're watching somebody off in the corner of the map as far away from you as possible, spending 50 seconds mending themselves. For the sake of this video, we're just going to run right at the killer because you just, that's the only way you're going to learn about self-care. Here we go. Now we're injured. Now let's do what we do, and that's just run off into a corner and then slowly, achingly heal ourselves. Now there's somebody in the, on the hook he needs to get off, but you can't because you're sitting here in the corner doing this. Uh, not only does this make it harder, uh, sometimes you have things like thanatophobia, sloppy butcher. All these things make this so much slower and, in my opinion, a detriment to your teammates when you should be out on hooking or doing gens. You're literally in a corner self-healing. But I guess it works for some people. Next up is one of my favorite beginner perks. It's Windows of Opportunity. It's a cape perk. I'm a cape main. Love it. What it does is all your vault opportunities, all your pallets are now highlighted yellow on the map when they're within your radius. It's a great way to learn your maps, learn how to identify uh, vaulting opportunities and learn how to identify your best and quickest way out of the situation uh, when a killer is closing in on you. I love this thing. It's one of my favorite perks. As you can immediately see, you can see all your vault locations, all your pallets, things like that. These are really, really great uh, for learning maps, learning where uh, locations might be to make a quick escape. Uh, they're really, really important learning opportunities here and that's why I think at least early on Windows of Opportunity is a great perk to use as you get uh, later in the game obviously it's not something that you're going to need because uh, you'll recognize those opportunities as they come up a lot quicker but early on um, I loved this perk it was definitely one of my favorites Zanshin's Tactics it's basically Windows of Opportunity for a killer uh, it tells you where your pallet locations are, your vault locations, but it also tells you where your breakaway doors are. It's a very similar thing to Windows, and it's a great way to uh, learn um, how to move around and how to keep people out of the way of vaulting locations. As you can immediately see, it's the exact same thing as Windows Opportunity. The only difference is as a killer, you're going to be using these opportunities to find ways to push people into dead zones and to... Uh, potentially uh, trap uh, people or predict where they might be going. You're going to get a better idea of where you need to go to be a more efficient killer. Next up, we got Cruel Limits, and man, the Shrine really loves some window perks this time. Uh, Cruel Limits is a Demogorgon perk. Basically what that does is when a gen is completed, all windows, all vaulting opportunities, not pallets, uh, are frozen. It's basically bamboozle, but it's an AOE shotgun blast around area. This is really great in um, small maps. Just as soon as this gen is done, all the windows in the area are now blocked. It's almost like bamboozle, except it's, like I said, it's an AOE. Uh, this is really effective on small maps. On bigger maps, you're really not going to see the value to it. But man, it can really do some damage on a small map. If you're wondering... Uh, all these people were standing around. It's really hard to do this. I'm not a Demogorgon main, so uh, they helped me uh, get this one done, and I appreciate their time. 
And that is a breakdown of this week's Shrine of Secrets. I hope this helped you uh, not pick self-care. I'm sorry. I just can't. It's just one last thing. I had to make a stab at that one. But hopefully you found something that you like. Hopefully this gives you a lot of information to help you unlock some of these and possibly use them in the future. I appreciate your time, guys. If you like what you're seeing here, don't forget to stop by here every Wednesday for these breakdowns for the Shrine of Secrets. Uh, and if you like to see more Dead by Daylight play, hopefully a little bit better than what you're seeing today because these are not necessarily perks I use anymore. Uh, come check us out on our Twitch channel, uh, Team Ashen. Uh, you can check us out here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe here, though. See you next time.